The length of a rectangular carpet is four feet greater than twice its width. If the area is 48 square feet, find the carpet's length and width. Sometimes it's a good idea when we have information about a rectangle or a triangle to draw a picture. So let's start with a picture. And we don't know anything about the width, but we do know something about the length. So let's call the width x. So in step one, we'll let x equal the width of this rectangle. Now in step two, we want to identify any other unknown quantities in terms of x. Well, the other unknown quantity is the length, but we're told that the length is four feet greater than twice the width. So twice the width would be 2x, and four feet greater than that is plus four. So for step two, we'll let 2x plus four equal the length. Now in step three, we want to write an equation relating these two quantities in step one and two. And we're told that the area is 48 square feet. Well, the area of any rectangle is just equal to the length times the width, so we'll fill in the unknown quantities. The area, we're told, is 48, is equal to the length, which is 2x plus 4, that quantity, times the width, which is x. Now we're ready for step four. We're going to solve this equation. So if we solve this, we need to distribute on the right-hand side, and we get 48 equals 2x squared plus 4x. Let's subtract 48 from both sides, and we'll get 0 equals 2x squared plus 4x minus 48. Now, we can factor this equation as it is, or we can notice that each term on the right-hand side is even, so that means each term is divisible by 2, and we'll have some smaller numbers that we need to factor. So let's divide every term on both sides of the equation by 2, and we'll get 0 equals x squared plus 2x minus 24. And this will factor nicely. We'll have 0 equals x plus 6 times the quantity x minus 4. It's always a good idea to check to make sure we factored correctly. That looks fine. So we set each of these factors equal to 0, x plus 6 equals 0, or x minus 4 equals 0. We'll solve both of these equations. We'll get x equals negative 6, or x equals 4. But remember, x represents the width of a rectangle, so x equals negative 6 cannot be a possible solution since the width of any rectangle cannot be negative. So x equals 4 is going to be the width of our rectangle. So we can say that the width is equal to 4 feet and the length is equal to 2 times x, so 2 times 4 plus 4. So in this case, the length is equal to 8 plus 4, or 12 feet. Finally, it's a good idea in step 5 to check our solution. And we can do a quick check by noting that the width is 4 feet times the length, which is 12 feet, and that does equal 48 square feet if we multiply that out.